Hello and thank you for watching. In this short video, we are going to be doing group three of this dozen a day. It's the pink book called the mini book, group three. And so in this first exercise, we now have our hands going all the way out to our pinky, but we're introducing a new note in this one from C up to high C. So that's called an octave from C to C because there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So octave is the word for that interval. It's do to do, and then do to do. You'll use fingers one to five. So get set with a nice hand position, both hands, good bridge, and then we're gonna walk out at the same time using the same fingers. to do back in. You might get a little bit louder as you go to the pinky. One, two, stretch out, stretch back in, two, three, four. In exercise two, deep breathing, we have this familiar triad or chord in the right hand made up of do, me, so. Now we're going to play with a gentle, slow roll up. The left hand, you notice at the beginning on that G, we've been playing it with finger four. Now we're going to play it with finger one. And that means our hands are going to be in what's called C position. So pinky for the left hand on C or finger five and thumb on C for the right hand. So getting used to the so to do in the left hand, space note to space note. It's called a fifth. So here we go. Don't hold after you play. Two, three, four. Here is exercise two from group three, deep breathing. Again, pacing just the gentle roll ups on these half notes. C position, roll up, roll up, and don't hang on. In exercise three, wide walk, stiff-legged. We're going out from C to G in the right hand. When you go up, it's a fifth, line to line. When you go down to G, it's a fourth. So the notes look different. One is on a line, one is on a space. Here we go. So the hands are taking turns. Switch. In exercise four, right knee up and back. What we're introducing in this one is the thumb crossing under finger three like we would do in a scale. So I want you to take a look at where you are playing one, two, and three. See on the keys, it's making kind of a diagonal line like this. And then when the thumb comes under, it's gonna play right here. So we're not gonna line up like this and try to go under. We're gonna give the thumb some space to go under by placing fingers two and three at some different spots on the keys. It's gonna look like this. And notice also my hand is not straight. I'm turning it at a slight angle so I can make that little line right here. Exercise four, this is where we introduce the cross under with the thumb. I want you to see that from the side view. So you get your hand in a really nice position and that thumb's just going under this tunnel here to F or Fa. Here we go. Everything else just stays where it is. We'll do that one more time. Exercise five, same thing with the left hand, but our little line is going to go this way instead. Here we go. Thumb under. One, two, three. One, two, three. One more time. Little bounce on the quarter notes. Gentle roll-ups for the three. 
three beats. The left hand's gonna set up at a slight angle so then the thumb can touch here, two kind of in the middle, three a little closer to the black keys, and then the thumb goes under the tunnel down to G or so. Not a lot of shifting around with the wrist. Rather, we're folding the thumb under. Now exercise six, we're gonna have both hands doing the cross under. This prepares us for what's called contrary motion scales, which would look like this. So we're just getting the first part of that down in this exercise when we cross our thumbs under at the same time under finger three. Here we go. And then as soon as the thumb has played, it can be getting ready and going under those other fingers. So you're not waiting till the last moment. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now they do it together. So we're setting up our fingers in kind of like a V shape, and then the thumb's going to come under at the edge. Try to keep the hands not moving too much. In exercise seven, backward bend, we're also preparing for the scale cross under on the way down, but we're not playing the whole scale. We're just gonna then play a fifth after we cross under from so to do down to C. So here we go, it's very similar. Cross under, one, two, three, back up, reach up an octave to grab that middle C. Let's do that one more time. So as soon as I'm done playing my thumb, it's getting ready to play. It's not waiting. Three, four. Two, three, four. Twirling to the right, we have do, mi, and so. Fingers one, three, five. Very common position in piano playing. So in this one, I'm going to try to gently make a little flow with our wrist in a little circular shape. Here we go. Exercise nine, we're just twirling to the left. We're going this way with our circles. Here we go. circular motion of the wrist in these twirling figures. We've got the left hand, same thing. So it's the wrist is going under and around. Exercise 10, jumping over a bench. The right hand is the bench. The right hand is playing do and me for a whole note. So it's going to be there for the whole measure. Left hand is playing treble G to bass G. So to so, G, G. So I want you to notice a couple things. First thing I want you to notice is that we're not going to reach over like this and play two like this. We're going to play two, kind of like it's being a piggyback, kind of like this and then it will switch to five. So as you move down from sideways, it's closer than you think. So because we do like this, it feels really far away. The other thing is we we'll want to have a good rhythm in this piece. So it'll be one, two, time. So once you know what the notes are, look at your hands. Don't look at the music. Here we go. Two, three, four. 
Now we have jumping off a big box, exercise 11. The left hand gets to do an octave, so it gets to go all the way from C down to low C, or Do to Do, interval of an octave. Make sure your right hand does not hold down for the whole measure. It comes off when the left hand pops off on beat three. So here we go. Do that one more time. Here we go. Two, four. Stretch down to C. Two, three, four. Here's an exercise 12. Fit as a fiddle and ready to go. We're listening for these little harmonies that you can hear. This is a harmony with a one harmony. So we have one. these fit as a fiddle. So we're going to have middle C position, pinky on G, and left hand's playing fourth finger on G or so, getting really used to that one to four fingering. Okay, first part's a chord in the right hand, or chord tones, and then walking down the scale. Notice we're going to start on finger four when the right hand comes in again. Here we go. Thank you for watching this short video on Dozen a Day mini book group three. I hope that you found it helpful and I hope you will subscribe to my channel for more videos on piano technique. Thanks again for watching.